Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got a grocery haul for you, which I haven't done one of these in a hot minute or a few months. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. This was a Walmart grocery delivery, $104.21. This is our first real, like planned out, meal planned, full grocery haul in our new house, so that's kind of exciting. In fact, I was like, I brought everything in, I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna set it, because everything's still kind of a mess because we're unpacking still. Um, life has been hectic for the past month. While we have closed on the house on August 11th, we spent two weeks doing DIY renovations, and then we moved in on August 26th, and today is the 31st, so we're getting there. We're, Will has tonight, uh, or Will has the next two days off, so hopefully we'll make some progress. But. I'm going to insert our meal plan here, um, just on a slide, so you can see what the meal is, meal the meal plan is, and then we'll jump into the groceries. Starting back here, I got a four pack of the Light and Fit uh, strawberry banana smoothies for the kids. Some Oikos Triple Zero yogurt for yogurt and granola. Some carrots for one of the recipes. I think it was the chicken stew recipe. Cucumber, one red onion, two yellow onions, some celery, baby red potatoes, three pound bag, green onions, some baby Bella sliced mushrooms. That's gonna be for the um, ramen meal. Heavy whipping cream, I think that's also for the stew. Sour cream, romaine lettuce, cause Alice has been begging for a good salad. Will requested ravioli for dinner, um, just the frozen cheese ravioli, and then I love to use the Newman saccharini sauce. Yawn, uh, bran flakes, and then a fun cereal for the week. Will's like, we need to try the Monster Mash, and then they have a new car caram caramella, caramel apple, a caramel apple one, um, her, whatever she is, and I haven't been able to find that one yet. Uh, hoisin sauce rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, and sesame seeds for the ramen. Oh, and the super blend. Uh, it's got Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kohlrabi, broccoli, carrot, and kale. I'm gonna put that in with the ramen as well. Some chocolate chips I like to just have on hand. I keep them in a mason jar and the kids use them to sprinkle on pancakes or in their yogurt or if we just need a quick chocolate fix. Some baked beans uh, back here, mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese. Fudge stripe cookies. This is because we have a fire pit here at the house and we are going to hopefully spend some time out in the back this weekend um, and have a fire and the kids of course requested s'mores. And I like to do the fudge stripe cookies instead of doing graham crackers and chocolate because it's all in one. So that's what we use as our graham cracker and it's got the chocolate. So that's what those are for. Hot dog buns so we can roast some hot dogs over the fire as well if the kids choose. If not, we like to have these for lunch and stuff as well. Uh, just a quick little, or a quick, um, a cheap little four pack of roasting forks. We also ordered um, hobo pie, like the cast iron hobo pie makers to put over the fire. Those were being delivered though. They were on clearance. I got three of them for $30 and they're normally like $20, uh, upwards of $20 a piece. But for the hobo pie I prepared, we are going to have, we have apple pie filling, we have strawberry pie filling, and we have peach pie filling. So we will have a variety of different pie fillings we can do. Will grew up doing hobo pies over the fire uh, at his family cabin and he requested um, that we get the stuff to do those if possible. So. I did. We also have like Nutella and banana. We can also just do cheese ones. We can do pepperoni and cheese ones. Um, so we're excited. A loaf of French bread to have with the chicken stew. Vanilla marshmallows for s'mores. Two packs of the birthday cake Martha White muffin mix. Jackson requested birthday cake mini muffins. And I was like, instead of paying way more for those, why don't we just make some? Um, I'm not gonna make mini muffins, I'll just make regular size ones, but that way they can have these on hand for breakfast or snack throughout the week. And then two loaves of just sandwich bread. One will go in the deep freezer and the other one we'll probably need. Um, I got them because we'll need them for hobo pies, but then our hobo pie makers won't be here until this weekend. Um, so today is currently Thursday and I think they get delivered Saturday, but we'll need bread for the hobo pies. And that is everything in this haul. 
It is so good to be back. Um, I have loved keeping up and catching up with all of you in the comment sections on my home reno videos. If you haven't seen those yet and you only come for the grocery hauls, if you want to check it out, we did just buy a 1970s home. Let's see. I'm, there we are. Uh, home built in the 1970s and we are currently, we did some decent renovations on it. Put, we ripped out carpet and put new flooring in three of the bedrooms and the living room. We painted the three bedrooms in the living room. Um, we have two bathrooms, one of which is we can't take a shower in because it leaks into the basement, so that's fun. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a whirlwind, but it's been so good to be back. So anyway, grocery haul, drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.